Hi there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to talk about one of my favorite daily drinks for a reset. Now after a really tough holiday, long holiday weekend, tough holiday, it have been, been tough but it can be tough to recover from if you were out doing it up. Oftentimes you just get caught up in doing things. Hi Katie, happy birthday! Um, caught up in doing things where you're like, I'm going to stick to my plan, I'm going to be super healthy and then you're like, whoops. What happened? That's okay, right? All part of life, all part of getting out there. So this is one of my favorite things to incorporate on the daily as you are kind of resetting and figuring everything out. So if you're finding this information helpful, if you would click the share button, that way other people can get this great info too. Um, I do have so some exciting things. My book, The Female Fat Solution, is out, available on Amazon, and you can check that out, all about nutrition that matches your hormones so you're working with your body. Um, it's really important that if you're really doing things that are not in line you know, with your health or you're kind of, you know, maybe not being as healthy as you know you should be, you're not going to feel good, right? So that's the thing, I think, whenever people are crabby or you're like, what is going on? I'm like... Um, they don't, they don't feel good. They just don't feel good. So this book is just jam packed with some of my favorite things that you can do to stay healthy and then why it's important for that. Oftentimes women get caught up in this whole, oh my gosh, my hormones are out of control or this is really different. I'm not sure what to do about it, you know, and so having a resource like this is really, really great. Um, there's information in here that can be really helpful. So when you're doing a reset like this, one of the things that I will talk about when you're really focused on your health is I'll recommend like cutting out gluten and dairy. And cutting out gluten and dairy just for a temporary even it helps you recover faster because gluten and dairy are inflammatory. So when I go through all this information on gluten, on dairy, why it's inflammatory, why your body can have a hard time processing it, but just taking a break for a little bit can kind of help your body reboot faster because you're not adding in that extra inflammation in there. So just some little things to consider and think about and hey, is this good for me? Am I gonna, you know, really, you know, be able to change this or do this or maybe I could try it just for a little bit? Super, see how you feel. So. There's ways to go gluten-free, dairy-free, all this stuff, and still get your proteins in. Okay. So for, that's my book. So that's available on Amazon if you want to pick it up. Um, I also have a free seven-day meal plan and everything else. That's on my website, so I put the link there. Um, little secret, if you click and download the first seven days, you will get another seven days sent to you free. Yeah, super fun. So it takes you through carb cycling, high-protein meals, um, a daily morning beverage that to kick off your digestive system for the day, all that stuff. So I talked about adding lem lemon water, apple cider vinegar, and ginger last night um, before you're going to bed. So if you tried that and that helped, awesome. That's super duper. But here's, so I had some questions on some of the apple cider vinegar and stuff. So here's a way that I like to add in um, some of these beverages together. And, and this is just me, right? If you find a different way that you like to get some of this liquid in your body, perfect. Another thing to remember that, oh, let me, let me write it down so it's like, so I really remember, is really increasing your liquids for the day and your water. So one of my favorite ways to get water in is through seltzer. So this is lime, la croix, what, uh, whatever. I took French in high school and in college. So if anybody could help me with that pronunciation, that would be great. Been a while. But so adding seltzer water in is fantastic um, to increase just your hydration overall. Uh, sometimes going from drinking fun drinks to just, oh, I'm going to have water now. Great. It's fun. This makes it more exciting. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by any seltzer company and I'm not sponsored by Costco before I get into it let me put that disclaimer out there I wouldn't mind being sponsored by Costco but I'm not but I love Costco so I talk about it a lot um, but that's the way to get your liquids in this Bragg's apple cider vinegar and you can see I'm like on the last bit of mine so I need more um, I keep it in the fridge so I open it and keep it in the fridge on sale at Target right now oh yeah boom Katie clutch right there Brags on sale at Target. 
Also not sponsored by Target, but just saying, helpful information for people. You can see how thick it is at the bottom here and there's little floaty things in it. That's the live active cultures in the apple cider vinegar. So this is power packed, power packed. Um, <laughs> LaCroix, <laughs> thank you. Adrian, that's LaCroix. I'm gonna, that's how people say it, I think. LaCroix, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna say, this is how Adrian says it, it's LaCroix. That's how we get our liquids in when we need to up our fluids. So apple cider vinegar, and this is something that I'll put in a jar for the day. So I add like a shot glass or two of apple cider vinegar into a big mason jar. Um, I, I use a big mason jar so it's glass, that type of a thing. And then I'll add in lemon. You can add fresh lemons or you can get lemon juice. And I get, I'll get this stuff, this is what I have in the fridge right now. Sometimes I get this at Costco too big containers of organic lemon juice and I'll put that in there and you're like oh my god how much do you want to make me pucker when I get that in there yeah and then fresh slices of ginger still which I just ran out so I don't have any ginger to demo for you um, and then cayenne cayenne is um, just it's just a powder form right um, if you, I was just gonna smell it and I was like that's probably not a good idea yeah, it's um, spicy, um, just a, psh, psh, that's all I do. I don't measure it, but I just do a psh, psh, like that. That's my measurement in my liquid. And then I shake it up to mix it in a little bit. Um, that's the official measurement for the cayenne because it's pretty potent. Now cayenne, uh, it's a spice, things like that. So the apple cider vinegar, there's a lot of stuff out there that talk about apple cider vinegar and how it's alkalizing for the body or it helps your digestive system reset, blah, blah, blah. Lemon is very cleansing and it's detoxifying overall. Same thing with ginger, it helps with your digestive system. Also very cleansing, very warming, helps your enzymes move things through your digestive system. Cayenne though, <sighs> cayenne is a whole spicy pepper. So it's actually going to be more of a, uh, a digestive system irritant. Um, <laughs> yes, Kathy, my cayenne measure. When I make the recipe and I'm going to post it below, I'm going to write psh, psh, just like that. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, but what it does is it irritates your digestive system and it, or your lining. So that flushes through faster. So it's, it's an irritant of some kind, but it's a healthy, rejuvenating irritant that actually helps things turn over faster so you get a stronger, healthier gut lining. Your gut lining is really important. I, people don't talk about that enough. Gut linings are important. It's really important to really love on your gut lining, and this can help you love on your gut lining. So there you go. So that's boom, 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 add in that cayenne, and then because, all of these things together in your water is, it's not tasty. And to drink it all day, I will add in, so again, so like I get a lot of this stuff at Costco. I get huge jars of this at Costco. And I don't get this at Costco. You can, you can get this at Costco. But I don't because I don't use that much of it. It makes me nervous to have that much cayenne in my house. Honestly, I don't, like what would you, anyway. So this, I also get at Costco, and you can see I'm on like the tail end of this. This is Great Lakes Raw Organic Honey, local honey. Um, so I add honey in to the liquid. Again, honey is very um, healing, and it's easy on the gut, all that other stuff. Um, and, and this is a great way to add that in to the beverage. It's more palatable. You can get it down. You're not like, you know, drinking that, that type of a thing. So, if you put can daily protein shakes, yeah, whoo, yeah, yes, you can put this in your protein shakes. Um, you put cinnamon in protein shakes, all that stuff. Some people put cinnamon in here too. <laughs> Costco size, that's true, Adrian. Thank you. Yes, a Costco size would be like a whoosh, whoosh, measurement. That would be that would be huge. Um, is maple syrup as healthy as honey? Ooh, Kathy, great question. So maple syrup and honey, as long as you're getting like organic sources or raw, this is a raw um, honey, they are both sweeteners that are nature made. So they have different, um, we'll say health properties to them. Maple syrup is a antioxidant. It's um, got other nutritional properties to it. And honey is a different like 
I don't want to say antioxidant, but it's got other healing agents to it. So both of them are good. So you could do either one or the other. I have a lot of, well, so my husband's from Vermont, so he's super into maple syrup. Like he drinks it, like he just drinks maple syrup. Like it's like, oh look, I'm thirsty. I'm going to drink some maple syrup. I'm like, why? Oh, gross. But he does. So you can do that. You can do that. But you can add maple syrup in here or honey. I love honeybees and I love honey and that's my fave. So that's why I use this. But that's a, you know, I'll put that on there though. Honey slash maple syrup. Um, but this is the real maple syrup now. This is not the Aunt Jemima corn syrup stuff. This is the real maple syrup. Um, actual organic, which also Costco has. <laughs> I get maple syrup at Costco too. <laughs> yes. Oh, woohoo. So adding all these things in, that just makes it more palatable, and then you can drink this down. This really helps kind of um, move things along your digestive system. It helps to flush stuff out of your body. It helps really turn things over. Try a sauna treatment, 20 minutes in a sauna, cold shower. Ooh. Um, yeah, I've, I, I haven't done any sauna treatments, but when we talk about the mic, that's a good suggestion. When we talk about really flushing things out of your body, yeah, you can use your pores to flush things out too. Um, this is really focused more on the gut and your intestines and kind of moving stuff through there. But I suppose, you know, if you had a really big party weekend, you know, maybe you'd be leaching some things from your pores also. Uh, but this will help really, I mean, making a, I make a big batch of this and then I put it in my fridge and I sip on it kind of all day long, intermittently in between my LaCroix, LaCroix sipping on that in between my LaCroix and getting my fluids in and helping reset. Um, you know, when you are introduced to a lot of different foods or when you're doing, you know, you're eating at odd times too, um, so it really offsets your system. When your body gets used to eating regular meals, eating really healthy, getting a certain number, amount of protein every day and healthy fats and all this stuff, and all of a sudden you change that, you're up at the cabin, you're out on a boat, you just, you know, plans change and you don't get the fuel and you normally do, your body feels that and it's like, oh, my systems aren't running as normally like they should. So going through something like this can really help reset um, everything. And when you're working, for women, this is specific for women, when you're working on hormone issues, having little blips along the way, like a holiday weekend, not a big deal. But you really want to focus on getting back on track as quickly as possible because when you're looking at every month to three month time chunks, you really want to say, okay, I had just a few blips here, but I got right back on as quick as possible and reset my body very quickly. That makes a big difference in your overall progress in working on your hormones and working on your health. So that's the kind of big, you know, 30,000 foot view on everyday routines for health. So that's why I really like this one. Um, what else? Somebody else had a comment. And then, yeah, so you can do, you know, this all day, reset your guts, everything else. Now this is just a suggestion for, you know, really flushing things through your system. Again, if you're looking for, hey, I really want more of a, a meal plan, I need to get back on track, this was really tough on me, then that's why I would say download my free seven day um, slim down and I just like the way that sounds, seven day slim down. <laughs> and then you'll get another seven days sent to you. And it goes through so many different things to jumpstart your metabolism and to really play different hormone levels like your leptin levels in your system. So, so that's what I have for that. Um, I think there is one more thing I wanted to talk about with some of this. Oh, that's right, somebody else asked a question on, um, on kombucha, that was Katie, yes. So when we look at kombucha and we're adding in kombucha, absolutely. So I'll have kombucha in the morning or in the afternoon and drink that and then still sip on this all day long. <laughs> you wish I had a six day slim down? Oh, well, you know, it's six days just isn't enough. You know, it's just not, right? It's like the seven minute abs, you know? You can't just, six minute abs, it's just, you need that extra day. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, the seven day slim down is uh, formulated in a way where you go through an entire carb cycle and a reset day, and then you go through an intermittent fasting day. So just ended up being seven days for all of that. Yes. Um, so kombucha adding in too. So increasing your water. Yes, you can have kombucha and then sipping on this kind of all day long. 
whoo, it is going to really kick some new things into gear and get your system turned over quickly. So that's what I got for you guys today. I'm going to be talking more about intermittent fasting and fat cell cleansing and all these other things and getting enough protein in because that's the other thing. A lot of times people will try and do a cleanse of some kind, but if your body's not healthy enough to go through, then you're not going to have a good time going through the cleanse and you're not going to have the right results from the cleanse. That's where people are like, oh, I'm doing this cleanse, but I feel like crap or oh, I don't like it or I didn't get a great result. Well, your body probably wasn't ready for it, you know? So that's what I, that's what's coming up. Again, if you want the seven day slim down, um, click on the link and you'll get another seven days. If you haven't checked my book out, you can go to Amazon, check it out, that type of a thing and get it because it's out now. Yay. It goes through so much content. And then um, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can comment below. You can message me for questions. I love, love, love answering questions. And then if you found this information helpful, if you would click the share button, I would so appreciate it so other people can get their reset on too because I saw a lot of people enjoying their 4th of July. And I did too. So it's all good. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.